Temple will hand it off to Greening. Greening in the middle. Greening, touchdown, standing up. Back to throw is Pollock. His pass is perfect to Bear. He's got some additional yardage towards the far sideline. That's a first down out of bounds at the 36-yard line. First and 10 at the DeRitter, 25. The pass throws an out pattern to Bear. He's got it about the 19. Cuts inside, cuts outside. He's inside the 15. Donnie Bollock with Reed in motion. Reed handoff. Reed's got some daylight. Reed will try to score. He will score. Touchdown, Eunice. Temple back to throw. Throws. He's off balance. Pass intercepted. Hebert. Hebert 20, 15, 10. Touchdown, Bobcats. Rolling that way is Temple. The throw is a short one. A first down to Mazik. 35, 30. Down the left sideline trying to break it. And a touchdown saving tackle at the far sideline by Tony Guillory. Three men in the backfield. That's his temple. Got pressure. Throws off his back foot. Pass is caught. Touchdown. Touchdown to Andy Smith. One man back for DeRitter. Standing at the 39-yard line. The snap is perfect. The kick is a beautiful one. A little bit wobbly. Taken at the 40. Bumbled right there. Trying to pick it up. The Bobcats will pick it up right here. This could be a touchdown. 50, 45, 40. Oh this God. is going to be a Eunice Bobcat touchdown. Nick third down make it fourth down and two from the 45 Bollock back to pass pass complete to Kyra Saber 41 40 knocked out of bounds and a first down for Eunice and fielding in a one hop is Hebert at the 35 right side 40 he's got daylight 45 50 he could take this to distance he will oh, he's gonna 55 yards All the way. touchdown Kyra Saber Eunice leads six to nothing Donnie Bollock will take the snap with less than five minutes to go in the first quarter. Hand it off. Big hole up the middle. Reed he's gone. could be gone. He's 30, gone. 25. He's One got man. a tackle in pursuit. A 60-yard touchdown for Jeremy Reed. And the Bobcats lead 13 to nothing. Holy Mahungus. Bollock will take the foot himself. Cuts inside. Touchdown. Touchdown, Donnie Bollock. Back to pass again is Hayes. Looks, throws. That pass is going to be underthrown, and that pass is going to be tipped up in the air. Intercepted Roy Guillory at the 46-50. Cuts inside 45-40. 35-30. Trying to score if he can get by one more man. He's down at the 20-yard line. That is a return of 36 yards. And the Bobcat defense, which has forced numerous turnovers throughout the season, has done it again. Dustin Smith on a second and short brings his team up to the line off the play action back to pass throws deep down the middle got a man wide open that pass is complete touchdown Leesville first down Bollock will hand it off to Freeman on the counter Freeman is all he along the right side he, he is go. gonna score Tim Freeman 20 yards out Eunice has taken a 30 to 16 lead Here's the handoff to Miles right through the middle he's got a first down he has got a touchdown now Hamel with the basketball, picked up by Roy. He slips, but Myers picks him up. Now he dribbles in between the two. Past Harry, over to Carpenter. Three-pointer is no good. Deep shot. Rebound is taken by Roy. Guillory dribbles it up the court to Brennan. Denton, top of the three-point circle, left wing Roy. Gets a pick from Dondre. Now a pull up from 20 feet. Good. Got it. Over to Caldwell. Being guarded by Anderson. Tries to dribble by him. He does. He lays it up. No good. Ball tipped around by Anderson and taken by Charles. Two on three situation. Charles dribbles, pulls up, four footer good. Yep. Eunice's lead back up to nine. Here's Carpenter. He is stripped by Harry for the second time in this ballgame. Two on one. Uh -oh, Myers uh -oh, uh -oh. to Harry alley -oop. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, that one went beyond the meter, folks. Bobcats with their biggest lead of 13, 36 23. Here's Carpenter. Fills up 10 footer off the back of the rim and the rebound. Snagged out of the air with one hand by Derek Myers. Myers dribbling into the paint. Myers pulls up, 14-footer, good. Caldwell trapped by three men, but bounces it over to Earhart. Earhart picked up by Anderson, dribbles by him. Earhart almost walked. Right side to Mason, three-pointer, good. Boy, that was almost an over and back by Bias. Here's Marcus in the front court. He dribbles, he scoops. His shot is blocked by Harry Frank. Rebound controlled by Hebert. He's got it to Allison. His long pass to Guillory. Guillory fakes, lays it up, good. Mias has it to Truett. Truett to Abair. Abair in the lane to Seeming. He's wide open from three. He shoots. He scores. Comes Anderson to the front court. Anders well beyond the three-point circle. Right wing throws it to Araby. Araby not much of a score. He's more of a defensive player. And he will back it out. He's got it to Pichu at the free throw line. Back to Araby. Araby to Bowie. He drives baseline. Puts up a six-footer. It's perfect. Now Davis with the ball. With three. With two. Davis will put it up from long three-point range. Good! Good! Davis hits 
Thompson from 25 feet. A three-pointer, his first point since the first quarter. Pitch home. Swung on and drilled into deep center field. Way back. That ball is gone. A home run for Travis Fawcett, who hit the ball about 360 feet well over the center field fence. And this game is tied. Swung on, hit high in the air to deep right field. This will score the run. The right fielder came back and it's over. That was way over his head. Garbon touches first. Mickey Miller touches the plate. The Blue Jays win the game 4-2. VJ will elect to work from the stretch position. Bases loaded, two outs. Benoit with his customary open stance. The stretch and the pitch home. Fastball grounded on two hops through the left side for a base hit. One run will score. Myers will throw to the plate. The throw is late. The runner to third. The throw to Fawcett. That runner is safe. Two runs scored. Runners at the corners. Jennings leads two to nothing. When this summer is over, Andre will take off for Northeast Louisiana where he'll play football and baseball. The 2-1 pitch home. Swan on hit high in the air into center field. Bollock with a few steps back is under it and he's got it easily for the out. However, for Jenning, two runs, four hits, no Eunice Ayers and three men left. We played two and a half from North Park Field. Jennings leads Eunice two to nothing. So Marcus will see another 1-2 pitch. He's the shortstop for this ball club and the shortstop for the Sacred Heart Trojans, the 1-2. Curveball in the dirt. Nice play by Prather. You really got to like that about him. That pitch was way outside, and even though there was not a runner on base, he still blocked it. 2-2. Two two. Andre ready. The wind, the 2-2. Two -two. Fastball swung on and missed. That was a blazer where he simply couldn't catch up to. Nothing doing in the top of the third after two and a half innings. Eunice, three. Evangeline won. The stretch. Terrio pitches the one-two. He got him on the curveball on the outside corner. Broadmoor wins the game nine to eight. For Eunice in the inning. There were two runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. Your final score, Broadmoor nine, Eunice eight. We'll be back with a recap of this ball game. You're listening to coverage of Eunice Bobcat Playoff Baseball on KJJV Supersports. Batting first and pitching is Mickey Miller. The second hitter is the second baseman, Tony Miller. Batting third is the center fielder, Donnie Ballack. The fourth hitter is the shortstop, Travis Fawcett. Batting fifth is the left fielder, Derek Myers. The sixth hitter is the catcher, Jared Prather. The offensive star of last night's game, we'll talk about a little bit later, Lance Deville plays third and bat seventh. Derek Marcantel, who was not in the start last night, is in it tonight. He plays right field and will hit eight. And first baseman Eric Brookhouse, who struggled last night, was 0 for 4, but now doesn't have to worry about pitching. He will hit ninth. And we'll introduce you to the starting lineup defensively for Bank One of Lafayette under the direction of manager Chris Doman and assistant Anthony Babineau and Kevin Shannon. The first baseman is Kevin Shannon. The second baseman is Justin Fork. The third baseman is James Vallow. The shortstop is Jake Duet. A fielder for this team is Brandon Miguez. Scott Collette plays center field and Chad Barrett is the right fielder. The catcher is Travis Boudreaux. And pitching tonight for Bank One of Lafayette, the only team to receive a bye in this regional tournament playoff game is number 13, Mitch Thibodeau. Actually, the only team to receive a bye in the regional tournament period. 